Welcome to the session of antigen antibody reactions. Now, as we know that pathogens possesses highly specific antigenic determinants on their surface, and these antigenic determinants they are known as epitope. Same way, the antibodies have complementary regions against this antigenic determinants or what we know as epitope and these regions which are present on antibody they are known as paratopes so we can say that antigens have epitope and antibodies have paratope which react with each other or epitope of antigen will bind with the paratope of antibody and this will create antigen antibody reactions now these antigen antibody reactions have usually three stages primary stage secondary stage and the tertiary stage in primary stage the antigen and antibody molecule they come towards each other but there is no visible effect seen to us whatever the reactions are there they are due to very weak uh, forces like hydrogen bonds electrostatic interactions, hydrophobic interactions, van der Waal force and this antigen antibody binding or reaction is reversible at this stage. If the epitope and paratope they are complementary to each other then the reaction will enter into the secondary stage where you can see the demonstrable events in form of uh, agglutination, precipitation, neutralization and so on. And in body, this will generate a tertiary reaction in form of a chain reaction, which will be the neutralization of antigen, destruction or removal of antigen, and sometimes tissue damage. So there are three stages of antigen antibody reactions, primary stage, secondary stage, and the tertiary reaction. Now we as a microbiologist, or when we are working in a lab, we try to focus on this secondary stage because this will help us to diagnose either antibody or antigen by using this antigen antibody demonstrable events or what we know as antigen antibody reactions. So there are two terminologies immunology and serology. Now both depicts antigen antibody reactions. If antigen antibody reactions happens in vivo and you study them that is known as immunology and which covers immunity hypersensitivity autoimmunity and the pathology due to immune uh, mediated reactions while if these antigen antibody reactions happen in vitro and you use them for diagnosis of infectious diseases by either detecting antigen or by detecting antibody that branch is known as serology. So today's session is mainly focused on the serological reactions. Okay, We have other videos or other topics on which we have uh, discussed immunological reactions. But today's session is limited to serological reactions. So when I say antigen antibody reactions as such, uh, we will talk different antigen antibody reactions in vitro. Now, what are the general features of antigen antibody reactions? So, there are six uh, general or main features of antigen antibody reactions. The first uh, reaction, first uh, feature is that they are very specific because antigen antibody reactions involve a specific interaction of epitope which is present on antigen with the corresponding paratope on its homologous antibody. But it is not absolute cross reactivity may occur and the exception uh, why this exception occurs in form of cross reactivity because sharing of epitopes among different antigen is there. So in such case antibody against one antigen can cross react with similar epitope of different antigen. 
whenever reactions happen, the entire molecule uh, will take part in it. So entire molecule of antigen or antibody will take part in this reaction. There is no denaturation uh, of either antigen or antibody uh, during this uh, process. Surface antigens are immunologically more relevant. So combinations on surface antigens, they, they are more important to us. These reactions are firm, but they are reversible. And finally, the firmness of this reaction will be decided by affinity and avidity. Now, let us understand what is affinity and what is avidity. Affinity is the intensity of an attraction between antigen and antibody molecules. It depicts the closeness of fit between epitope and paratope. So you can see that it is the binding strength between an antibody and an epitope on antigen. While avidity is the strand of bond after the formation of antigen antibody complexes and it usually measures the binding capacity. Let us understand this by an example. If you see that we have two types of antibody, IgM as well as IgG. Now this pentameric IgM molecule has actually lower affinity than IgG, but if you see that it has more avidity compared to IgG. Now how it is so? Because when we say affinity, we consider only a single epitope paratope reaction. So when you talk about a single epitope paratope reaction, that attraction strength is very high in case of IgG. While that attraction strength is very low in case of IgM. So yes, IgG has more uh, strong attraction between epitope and paratope molecules. So obviously IgG has more affinity compared to IgM. But uh, when we talk about avidity, we are talking about all the binding sites of antigen antibody molecules. So affinities of all the binding site uh, with uh, complex antigen. So multivalent antibody binding with multivalent antigens. Uh, that is the scenario in case of IgM. So yes, uh, the uh, this is the if you if you count the average capacity or average binding strength of IgM molecule, that will be. Uh, way more uh, compared to IgG. So avidity is more in case of IgM compared to IgG. Now, when we talk about uh, antigen antibody reactions, we mean by laboratory tastes. And when you talk about taste, uh, the tasting parameters are usually sensitivity and specificity. Now, what do you understand by sensitivity? Sensitivity is ability to detect even the minute amount of either antigen or antibody. While well, specificity is the ability of a taste to detect what it should detect or ability to detect the homologous antigen and no other uh, cross-reacting or any other false uh, positive uh, result should happen. So we have sensitivity as well as specificity. Now what are the different antigen antibody reactions that we are going in uh, going to discuss in this antigen antibody reaction series? Uh, precipitation and flocculation reactions, various agglutination reactions like slide agglutination, tube agglutination, Combs taste and so on, complement fixation taste, neutralization taste, Radio immuno assay, ELISA, chemiluminance taste, Western blot, immunofluorescence, and flow cytometry.